Refugee families from Afghanistan are trickling to Tulsa. Yeah, and Catholic Charities is preparing to welcome about 200 families right here to Green Country. That's right. Tonight, the organization is teaming up with a local food pantry to prepare hot, home-cooked meals for the refugees. 2 News Oklahoma's Mesa Morrow takes us into the kitchen and shows us why these meals are so meaningful to the volunteers. Cook spent several hours here inside the kitchen Thursday night at Catholic Charities preparing meals for about 800 Afghan refugees. Those authentic meals are meant to give those families a taste of home once they arrive here in Tulsa. That's our joy to provide this food for them. Michael Egan started the Kanohana Foundation five years ago. The organization began as a small food pantry for the hungry in green country. Now nearly 700 volunteers from Kanohana are coming forward to welcome 200 Afghan families that were forced to flee their home country. The number of people that have signed up is, is really hard. Warming. The challenge, aside from preparing 800 hot meals, is cooking foods the Afghan families are actually familiar with. Egan says smoked Oklahoma barbecue won't cut it, so he's called upon cooks with Middle Eastern roots to whip up meals they'll all enjoy. It's very easy for them to adapt and cut out a few spices or add spices and prepare food that they're familiar with. They've already prepared traditional Afghan meals for four families now settled in Tulsa like Kabuli Palau, a staple in Afghan cuisine. It's uh, broth-based rice um, with some spices and things, and it usually has lamb. We've heard back that they really appreciated the meals because it's a home-cooked meal. Home-cooked meals in their new home. I think that's going to be a great addition to the, the Tulsa community. Egan tells me one of his largest hopes is that once all the families get settled here in Tulsa, a few of them decide to start their own Afghan restaurant so that we can get a taste of their home cooking. Reporting in Tulsa, Mesa Morrow, 2 News, Oklahoma.